Hello, my name is Dante Rene, and welcome to the 10 Room Bizarro YouTube page, where I talk about films that I believe need to be talked about more. Tonight's film is 1986's, actually, it's also looked at as 1985, and looked like it was released uh, in the home video market, at least, in 1988. So there are a couple different dates circulating around here, but it is the film called... Spookies. Spookies has only been released on VHS so far. There has not been an official DVD release in North America as of yet. There was a foreign release in Region 2, but it looked like a bootleg. This is Spookies, a demonic game of hide-and-seek, a night of unrelenting terror. And it says in the front here, winner of the 1986 Delirium Award. Folks, this is Spookies. This is a, a very rare VHS copy of Spookies, and actually the soundtrack to this amazing film was just released by Terror Vision Records. They released it on record and vinyl and even had a special t-shirt uh, for this particular film. Uh, this is put out by Sony VHS, you can see here, and I'm going to show you the back of the VHS tape as well, right there. And uh, we have you know, very cool types of things going on here. Um, different, different pictures here. This film is quite, uh, quite awesome on the 80s horror circuit. If you're looking for a movie that epitomizes an 80s sleepover, an 80s horror sleepover, late at night, a buttery bowl of popcorn, the oily fingers, um, sleeping bags, or people all over the carpeted floor in the basement or in a bed, bunk bed bedroom, um, just got done playing some video games and now we are in to watch a movie into the night hours, late at night. Spooky's a pit epitomizes an 85-minute 80s horror experience. Uh, this is a movie that epitomizes an 80s late-night horror experience. The film is really something special. Um, and really, I believe, undervalued in many respects. The film got mostly known for its special effects. Even to this day, when people talk about it, rarely, they'll talk about the special effects. And that's because this film has unbelievable practical special effects. Um, one of the special effects artists was... Um, the guy that worked on Frank Henenlotter uh, films, I believe, uh, Gabe, uh, did, uh, did, uh, uh, Frankenhooker, Gabe Bartolomus or something, getting his name incorrect, but I believe he worked on here uh, as well. But this film has unbelievable creatures, monsters, zombies, weird witches, weird ghouls, uh, small creatures that crawl and slither. Creatures that fly, creatures that are unbelievably huge. Um, there are laser beams. There's electricity laser beams and different colored laser beams. And there's, there's fire and, uh, like I said, electricity and sparks. Um, there are very... There's possession, uh, there's uh, Grim Reaper statues come to life, there's Ouija boards, but not your normal Ouija board. This is a Ouija board specifically for this particular home, for this particular abandoned home. Um, we have birthday presents with heads inside. We have um, even the... A very disturbing scene, something you never see ever in in horror films, even today, is a young child getting tortured, killed, bloodied, and murdered. Yes, um, we have weird cat people. We have weird 
uh, monster children. Uh, we have a bizarre man with a pulsating vein in his forehead. A, a dead, seemingly dead woman who gets brought back to life uh, with the with 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 the dead. Uh, the more dead bodies that pile up, we have. Uh, a, a chess game of ghouls and creatures and, and human souls and demons. And like I said, this Ouija board is intertwined in this chess game, uh, this demonic evil chess game of the occult. Um, this is a, is a, is a movie with with a graveyard and people coming out of graves and creatures around every corner and even creatures that fart. What? And there's awesome animation special effects in this film that fill the screen with blue energy and blue lightning and blue lights as 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 characters die in a trance. We have the opening of skulls. We have uh, weird demonic occult altars. I mean, we have a crazy spider woman. And we have people getting their flesh sucked out of them. Folks, there is so much in this movie. Essentially, um, essentially we have... Um, Wow, there's oh, we, uh, we have this mysterious abandoned mansion in the middle of nowhere and two carloads of people that wind up there and get trapped inside of this abandoned mansion. And inside of this abandoned mansion, they're going through room after room after room and floor after floor and they get split up and they discover these creatures and these different realms inside of here and a friend gets possessed and we have someone living inside of here who's controlling these creatures with this game with this Ouija board and uh, it, it's it's really a wild film that even starts with it almost feels choppy at times in, in a really cool way we have a, a weird story of the, of the young boy in a birthday party and a creepy almost pedophile man in in the woods and it it almost at times has that vibe of, of the original night of the demons in terms of a group of people inside of like an abandoned place um who and they can't get out and and kind of going from room to room and and discovering you know different th things but in this particular film i mean this is not a simple possession film whatsoever or even a simple demonic film this film has creatures you've never seen before uh they are all practical they are all homemade um not related to anything else um, um, this is really something special where there are creatures that you that are so imaginative and creative and 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 some of them are really scary to look at their faces the eyes the mouths um you're looking at the the the, the height of 80s awesome special effects that are practical and even with some cool uh animation on the screen uh you know this is this is uh this is Spookies, folks. The music in this film is awesome. The soundtrack just got released uh, February 2016 by Terror Vision Records. You can still get it. Um, the soundtrack is awesome. 80s synthesized, um, mysterious, dark, uh, late night 80s music um, with even some Asian tinges in there as well. And, um, you know, this is a film that is... is is you know just like i said it's it epitomizes um a horror night this is what this film is and it's chock full at every corner with horror creatures we even have a character that brings some humor who has a puppet on his hand we don't have any nudity in this film but we do have a sleaze factor with one of the ladies with a low-cut shirt and even at the end of the film some zombies kind of ripping off this woman's clothing and and uh you know really almost upper thighs and and legs and it's kind of a almost a little bit of a sleazy type of scene here now the actual mansion uh from this film i i, I heard is in new york it's in the state of New York and you can still visit it. It's a historical place. Um, so that's pretty amazing. Um, and this is a film that just has a mysterious, dark, 
and very 80s nostalgic vibe about it. Um, this, you know, it, it reminds me of, 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 this is a horror ride. This is an 80s horror ride in an 85 minute movie. That's what this is. Uh, it's an 80s haunted house in an 85 minute movie. Um, and it'll, there are spooky moments in here that, like I said, there are things that are freaky and scary that might creep you out. And there's a load of fun. And, and, and there are things that are just bizarre and weird. Um, some of the dialogue is amazing. Um, this one line when you fucking bitch. You know, there, there's some dialogue. There are a couple funny lines as well. Um, there's some, just some weirdness with the characters. Like, why would this older man be hanging out with these younger people? You know, some very bizarre things. We have, like, some of the, the typical, uh, you know, this, this one, like, kind of macho Italian character. Um, but then we have this British girl who's like in control of this guy constantly and there's some humor that ensues there as he's in a controlling relationship with her um and uh, you know this is a haunted house this is this is a, a weird bizarre dark um you feel giddy inside late at night um you're popping the vhs tape in that you just rented from your local video store to see what's on it and you're just this is a horror tattoo you know come to life in an 85 minute movie um there were a lot of problems supposedly behind the scenes on this particular film a lot of uh cooks in the kitchen a lot of writers a lot of directors a lot of people that change things um in the editing room and i've heard that most people are not who worked in the film were not ultimately happy with it you can sense that there are conflicting vibes in the film where there's humor but then it you know then it was like just straight horror you can you can sense those conflicting vibes in the opening credits with the skull that's scary and then smiles this film feels like there is a conflicting um that there were conflicting writers in the film and and with what they with what they wanted the film to be with they wanted to be a horror comedy or just straight horror and you get it all and that's what makes the film so awesome and so weird at the same time this is 1986's Spookies, folks, only available on VHS. You can get it on Amazon or eBay, but they're going to go for high prices. And um, they'll only be used, although this one I found brand spanking new. Uh, that's right, folks. And as I end you here, I'm going to I'm going to show you this. This is actually a an ad that they would put in for the video stores back in the day. A $10 rebate to get the movie, to actually buy the movie uh, for your video stores. Right there. It's pretty awesome, isn't it? All right, folks. Thank you so much for watching the 10 Room Bizarro YouTube page. Check out all my other reviews on this YouTube page of movies I believe need to be talked about more uh, from sexploitation, uh, gosh, exploitation, horror, uh, sex films, erotic films, adult, all of it. Here it is, folks. This was Spookies for tonight. Thank you so much. Check out my own personal films at youtube.com slash poopy diarrhea. Good night.